well, what's left to say after eating well? If you hated it, you'll presumably be long gone, and if you loved it, you may be well on the road to being a survivor of things to come, because, for my money, this is a parable about a world where there's always a market for everything. This bland but unflaggingly funny study of the respectable road to utter corruption could be a useful handbook for living once our market-orientated society has gained its full momentum. So, on Monday night, I'll be back with one of Joseph Losey's and Dirk Bogard's famous films, and a very serious one, too. It's King and Country, Grim But Good. See you then. What does a woman do when she wants to make the break from her husband, and she knows that her life is in danger if she tries? Don't do that thing you've ever seen wrong with him. <laughs> Why, maybe he's sick. Maybe. Have a good time. What's it? What does a husband do when he knows his wife is having an affair with another man? How far will one man go to protect the woman he loves? How does one answer questions about love, passion, and jealousy? It's not simple. Our Sunday night movie, 8:30 on ABC. A romantic dinner for Dr. Harrison. I just feel that a baby would cement what we have between us. Is he really ready to tie the knot? What the hell's wrong with me? A patient wants answers. Does Robert have all the facts? After all the promises. All the garbage about with the children and I meant to you. This time you may as well get that AIDS test done to him. I can't walk out on him while he's sick. You can't stay with him because he's sick either. GP. 8.30 Tuesday on ABC.